In TurboCAD, we're going to take a look at title blocks, um, where they're located, how you get them, and how we can alter and, and uh, draw inside of them. So if we go to um, New Using Wizard, it's going to pull up either custom drawing or if we drop this down, there's 2D templates. And if we scroll down, they have A, B, C, D, and E, um, as well as these other A, A1, A2, so on and so forth. They also have the landscape and portrait options. Um, in the B, C, D, it seems it's all landscape, which is all I ever tend to work with anyway. Um, when we take a look at sizes, um, these are your ANSI standards. So your A's are the 8.5 by 11. B, we move into 11 by 17. C, I usually call 18 by 24 just because that's a standard sheet of paper, but that is your actual title block size. And then once again, D is 22 by 34. I usually call it 24 by 36 because once again, the D size or architectural D is 24 by 36. And most plotters or printers are going to output at 24 by 36. Um, nonetheless, we can select our um, size. So if you're just outputting on a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, we could start with a drawing of this size. Um, if you want to go to an 11 by 17, we can select that, hit OK, and this will import a very professional looking um, title block that we can uh, modify, utilize, so on and so forth. One of the first things I always do um, is oftentimes I'll go through and remove the information that's not requ required from um, a title block for personal use or on a smaller side. So for instance, like I'm going to be the one drawing it. I don't need engineering approval. I don't need manufacturing approval. I don't need quality control. So I would omit all this stuff. Um, a lot of this content is critical. Um, depending on what you're doing. If you're just making drawings for yourself, you're not going to need to know, you know, tolerancing and so on and so forth. Material finish, um, all beneficial, but like I said, depending what you're doing, you might want to go ahead and get rid of a lot of this content. All right, so you might find that you are actually just starting with something like this, where we actually delete these lines or trim these lines back, um, totally up to you. This title block could be modified in any way you see fit. Okay. Uh, at that point, you could either um, import. So if I had a drawing on another, I'm not sure if I saved any of these other stuff. Um, let's see if, if I had something I could actually bring that over. Um, so for instance, I could take this copy this, so edit copy, edit paste this in, and we could actually fit this to our title block, whether I needed to rotate this. Um, rotate about center point, doesn't really matter. Rotate there, I should have gone 90. And then I could go ahead and put put this into, sorry about that, put this into my title block. Keep missing a line there. So that this could be um, outputted to a printer or whatever it might be. So that's your option. You don't necessarily have to draw inside the title block. You could produce that just on a blank sheet of paper and that's probably what I'd recommend actually, um, is produce your drawings on a blank sheet of, you know, somewhere else and then pull into the title block as need be. Advantage of that is you can draw any size you want on a blank document. When you bring it over here to fit to the title block, if you need to scale it to fit to a certain size, you can do so. So once again, I always recommend and it's I think best practice to draw at full size. Um, and then you can import it here, scale it to whatever size you need for outputting. Note your scale here. So right now it says one to one, where if I, obviously this is a uh, architectural plan, so it's not a one to one scale. 
you would modify that to have an accurate title block. All right. Um, so that's probably how I'd go about doing it. Once again, revisions, whether you need this stuff. I mean, it's all very beneficial, um, but you may or may not need that. This is now ready for print, possibly. Um, sheet one of one. Once again, all this stuff can be altered.